my partner Cole Hart to demonstrate tension and compression in different trusses. First, let me start by defining a truss. A truss is a structural member that through different various sized members distributes the weight or the load to the supports. Different truss members undergo tension and compression depending upon the location of the load and the design of the truss. When a member is in compression, the member is actually shortened. And likewise, when it is in tension, it is actually lengthened. The first truss we're going to demonstrate is a modified version of the King Post truss. The reason we modified the truss was to make the tension and compression more apparent for demonstration purposes. This truss consists of two right triangles with 8 inch bases, 6 inch height, and 10 inch hypotenuses. Now I'm going to apply a force using my hand to the top center of the truss. Notice as I apply pressure that the two hypotenuse members, BA and BC, compress and a result create a tensile stress in the base members. The center piece of the truss is called a zero force member because it does not carry any load. All of the weight is distributed by the two hypotenuses. Being able to recognize zero force members can make seemingly complicated trusses much less confusing. Zero force members occur when a joint has three members, two members running in the same direction, and a perpendicular member at the joint. The next truss we're going to demonstrate is a modified version of the through worn truss. As you can see, it is a little bit more complicated than the previous truss. Once again, it has been modified to show more clearly the tensile and compressive stresses in the members. Notice that this truss has three zero force members, members BH, CG, and DF. In this demonstration, I'm going to place a load in the center of the base. Due to the rigidity of the balsa wood and the design of the truss, it is difficult to see the tension and compression at work. So what we've done is we've color-coded the members to show which ones are in tension and which ones are in compression. We've shown the members in compression in blue and the members in tension in red. When the load is applied to the truss, the base members go into tension to counter the force of the hammer. Likewise, the top members go into compression to counter the tensile stresses of the connecting members. In conclusion, trusses are all around us, in homes, offices, schools, all kinds of buildings. A truss is a structural system that distributes loads to supports through a linear arrangement of various size members and patterns of planar triangles. Under stress, the members experience tension and compression depending upon the truss and the location of the load. Tension lengthens the member and compression shortens it. Zero force members are non-load bearing members of trusses that when recognized can make solving truss problems much simpler.